Hello friends. Today I am going to show you a new approach to sync your slices. To sync these two slices that we have on the screen, we are using DAX. Let me first show you that we are not using this sync slicer. Let me open it. And when I click when I click on this slicer, you can see that there is no syncing. When I click on this, there is no syncing. And there is no relationship with these two slices. Uh, this slicer is coming from the calendar table, and this one is coming from the orders table. You can see the highlighting. Let me take you to the relationship window, and there is no relationship between these two tables. Now, let me show you how the syncing is working. For this syncing, I am using one custom visual. The first visual, slicer visual, is my custom visual, and second one is a normal slicer. Uh, when I select year 2023, you can see that after selecting this, this is already selected. Similarly, if I select some other item like 2020, this is selected. Let me show you how I achieved this. Let's add a new page. Then add a normal visual, normal slicer visual. Then here I am going to take year. Then here in the slicer setting, I'll make it vertical list. It's visible. Let's increase the font size a little. Header a little. This header is coming from orders table. Let's create the another slicer. For this another slicer, we are going to use one custom visual that is called pre-selected slicer. This slicer is available in get more visual section. Go there and simply download import. Then I'll simply add this new slicer. And then increase its width. Now in the field section, I'll go to calendar and add my ear. That's it. But when I add ear, it shows me blank. Why? Because it is expecting two more inputs. First is dirty status. For dirty status, I'll simply go to status table and simply add status. Now it is showing me an error. This is an obvious error because there is no relationship between these two fields. Now it is expecting a measure, a condition using that this slicer is going to be in sync with this first slicer. Now, in order to create a new, create a measure, I'll simply right click here and create a new measure. OK, and then I'm going to write my DAX logic. Now I need this year here, so I'll simply use max. You can use min or you can also use selected value. Now, as this year is coming from the calendar table, so simply add this year here, then type equal to, and then type, now type again selected value here. Now here, you have to add the year that is visible in the orders table, and that is shown in the first slicer so orders table and here and simply hit enter now once this measure is created drag this measure in the pre-selection area now let's format this a little header I'll make it white text make it 15 or maybe more than that or let's call it year from calendar. Now go to format, item style, font color, make it white, increase font size to 15. Now, when I select 2023, it is selected. I'll select 2022, it is selected. But when I try to select multiple items, we do not select. It is not selecting because condition is not designed in that way. 
it is designed for a single select. Now, in order to make it a multi select, we need to type here in, and as this selected value only supplies a single scalar value, so we need to change this with values function. And now you can see that multiple values are selected. Let's select 2023, select it. Now select again 2021 and then 2023. Now we can see that two item is selected. So here we have used DAX to sync to both the slices. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for joining in. Have a nice day.